the matrix keypad matrix keypad is too often required to be used for several kinds of projects the general specifications are like this but if you look at the matrix keypad it looks like this it is got uh, normally that is used in the telephones is uh, 3 into 4 we have 3 columns and 4 rows and that is how it's called a 3 by 4 matrix keypad which is used and from the side view looks like this and it is having the pin connections from 1 to 7 is like this 1 goes to column 2 2 goes to row 1 3 goes to column 1 and four goes to column uh, row 4 like that like that and this is how the row and column and how it works we all know that when we press one this row and this column is sorted by a switch these are the two uh, these are the two point and these two points get sorted that means row 1 and column 1 get sorted when i press 2 the row 1 column 2 get sorted when i press 3 this and this similarly when i press say 6 then this row and this column gets sorted so that is how i get a function of all these 12 buttons that is 3 into 4 12 buttons respectively which can be given to a decoder we call it a decoder that will decode this or we can directly send these seven pins that means four from here three from here to the microcontroller so as to write program accordingly that means when the pay, uh, button one is pressed and row one and column one the suppose row one is connected to a particular pin and column one is connected to another pin the pressing this will assume that these two pins get sorted so the program would understand that the pin number 1 has been pressed and accordingly 2 3 4 and other knobs and this is how it starts taking data from the keypad and we call it a matrix keypad because in the form of matrix we take only seven connections and we get 12 functions 1 2 3 4 4 12, 12 functions so that it is used for many 12 functions as far as the keypad is concerned but you can take a lot of numbers and uh, it can work exactly the way that we want thank you hi let's now try to understand the dtmf decoder ic 9170b this is a 19 pin ic which has got an input arrangement at pin number 2 with this kind of c and r arrangement is got to be connected to a crystal of 3.579545 megahertz crystal in this arrangement and then we also have an r and c arrangement here for certain frequency internal oscillator and this is the output d0 d1 d3 uh, d2 and d3 if we look at the simulation way see the working of a dtmf decoder ic is that when a number is pressed it gives somewhat similar to a binary code as per the table that we see in the manufacturer's data sheet like for example dtmf means dual tone this is one frequency this is another frequency for digit 1 and this is output enable let's not discuss about this more we will uh, uh, learn it later and then these are the output d0 d1 d2 d3 now when this is digit 1 this gives this kind of uh, tones and those tones give this kind of output in terms of it is a binary output 1 0 0 0 or 0 0 0 1 for 2 it is 0 0 1 0 For three, it is zero zero one one. We'll see the same thing in the simulation. Now, this is the keypad of any telephone receiver or a cell phone. Normally, in a matrix keypad, we call it. We have heard about the matrix keypad, how it functions. And now, when we try to understand more about it, we find that when we press one, it gives 
a binary output of 0 0 0 1 and 2 0 0 1 0 3 2 plus 1 3 4 this is 4 5 4 plus 1 5 that is 0 1 0 1 6 7 8 9 and so on this is what is the working of the GTMF decoder IC when it receives the tone command at this place when it receives the tone command at this place it delivers this kind of digital output as for the table like this these are the tone commands in fact which are coming and those tone commands result in this kind of output excepting in is uh, and the zero also it gives high low high low 8 plus 2 10 in fact this is zero means 10 because the 10 pulses have to go as far as the telephone is concerned for star it is like this and for hash is see this way and for a b c d if at all there is a uh, matrix keypad which has got a b c d also which is a force in a um, uh, four column four line this we are talking about a three column four line in a three column four line arrangement the output is this is the way that we find the output and that is how the DTMF decoder IC is working and uh, from the output generally since this is what we have seen that this output is uh, binary output and uh, normally if at all you have to connect it to some other circuit ahead of it and uh, we use a buffer the buffer could be an inverter it could be a simple buffer but then in many cases we use a an inverter if i use an inverter that means whatever output i get from this ic like for example if i get 1001 in the inverter it will be 0110 that means the digit number 9 or say for example digit number 5 will be as far as the after inverting will be 1010 which is just the reverse of the uh, arrangement that we have and that is how it is interfaced to the circuit for program to understand and then this is how the IVRS also works um, interactive voice response system where the number is uh, converted the tone is converted to the particular number uh, in the binary number and that is how it works this table is universal throughout the world and uh, that is why anywhere we use any number these are the frequencies which are the dual tone is gen uh, generated and the tone decoder decodes it there is an arrangement for tone encoder also we will discuss that separately in the tone encoder section thank you